On June 2nd, teenager Paige Winter bit near Atlantic Beach. Her attack, the most severe of three that would happen this summer. And there's like a couple cuts. Then, just eight days later, a second teen bit on the foot at Ocean Isle Beach. His injuries, not life-threatening. And a third bite on June 17th, this time off Bald Head Island. The eight-year-old victim bit on the leg. His injuries, too, not life-threatening. Three bites, and the beach season is far from over. Our state's average is one to two bites per year. Um, if they actually were coming after us, uh, you'd see bites happening a lot more often. The fact that they're newsworthy is actually a sign of how rare they really are. Dr. Bangley, who's also researching bull sharks in the Pamlico Sound, says there are some signs that you can watch out for if you want to avoid shark encounters altogether. First, is the water clear? If so, the shark can see better. Better sight means the shark can tell you aren't a fish and aren't on the menu. Second, avoid fishing areas like piers. The bait smell can attract sharks. So can the fish struggling on the line and fish remains that have been thrown back to the sea. Look at the ocean. Do you see birds diving into the waters or small fish jumping out? That could be a sign that a predator is after a small fish in the area. And finally, some of the best advice I can give is to just be aware of your surroundings. At the Pamlico Sound, Julie Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. And it is their house. It is their house indeed.